Hey everybody, Megan here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, so today's video is going to be a little different. Obviously, it's going to be a Canva tutorial, but instead of going like the digital planning, stickers, that kind of route, I am going to show you guys today how to create some letter tracing worksheets. Now, if you have any experience with like homeschooling or teaching preschool, you will know that these letter tracing worksheets come in handy, or even if you have kids that you're just trying to like teach them how to write in the meantime, I'm not a teacher, I don't have any kids, but I do know that this is very helpful for a lot of people like that. So if you do like today's video and um, you like the content on my channel, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below and leave any comments, questions, suggestions for me in the comment section below and I will do my best to help y'all out. So I've gone ahead and gone on Etsy's website clearly and I typed in letter tracing worksheets. So what I mean when I talk about letter tracing worksheets is stuff like this. This one's actually really cute. So. Um, it looks like there's a few different sheets that come with this listing. Let's see, there's some uppercase letters, there's some lowercase letters, and then there's some of both, and they've got like the cute little dinosaurs. I think that's really cute for kids. Kids tend to like that kind of stuff. Um, let's see, here's a good one too. A is for alligator. Here's some line tracing. Um, so basically what I am going to show you guys how to do is create something. Let me go back to this. Okay, is kind of gonna be like this, um, like this first listing right here. This one's a star seller, so this is a good listing. Obviously, I'm not gonna make it to where it looks exactly like this, but I will show you guys how to do something very similar in just a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here to Canva. Um, I'm gonna go back to my home page, and for this one, I'm going to create um, an eight and a half by eleven design. So this one is like. 11 by eight and a half uh, because it's horizontal and not vertical but I'm gonna go ahead and just create a vertical one it serves the same purpose and I just like the vertical better so we're going to go to create a design and then custom size or you can just do custom size right here you can just change the pixels to inches and we're gonna type in eight and a half by 11 and we're gonna create the new design so yeah, I've never done a lot of homeschool stuff. I've, I'm 30 years old and married and don't have any kids. Um, not that I have anything against kids, I really don't. My very first job was with kids, so um, I do like kids, but I just don't have any use for anything like this. I just, I know that homeschooling is becoming a very popular option and just doing things like one-on-one -on -one with kids is a very popular option right now. So I figured I would just share this with you guys. So, sorry about that tangent, <laughs> but we will go back over here to the personalized dry erase letter guide and we'll take a look at some of this. So, this one is dry erase. I think the reason it's dry erase is because they printed it out but just put it in one of those like clear sleeves, which I've done before. That's actually really a very good idea. So, if you have kids and you have stuff like this for them to do and like draw on, this is a really good option because it saves a lot of paper. Um, but anyways, let me see if some of these pictures will pull up. Probably not. Okay, we'll just stick with this picture. So what we're gonna do in our untitled design right here is we are going to, let's do the letter A. Um, so for A, we're gonna do apple instead of L for lion. I think apple sounds good. I just had an apple not too long ago, so <laughs> it's still fresh in my brain. So what you're gonna do first is we are going to find an apple. So we're gonna go over here to elements. I don't have any like fruit or like apples or anything for kids stuff that I've purchased from like Creative Market, but if you wanna go that route and purchase stuff, I do have a video on, um, purchasing clip art from outside of Canva and using it on Canva. So I will link it up here and in the description box below. Um, also, if you guys see me like <laughs> kind of distracted, it's because my cat is up here and he has attempted to bite my laptop while I've been working before and he really gets on my nerves when I try to do this. So anyways, we will go over here, go to Apple and we're not going to use the Apple logo, but we will use, go over here to graphics 
and this one's pretty cute. This is a pretty cute apple. So we will resize the apple. As far as the sizing goes, there is no right or wrong size, but I probably will have to play around with this. Um, I've never made anything like this before, so the apple might be big enough, might not be. Um, let's go back over here and take a look. So I think I saw this somewhere. Okay, so we can do something like this. So we can do A is for apple instead of alligator. So let's go back over here to the Untitled Design, and now I'm going to hit T on my keyboard, and it's going to pop up with a text box. If you guys did not know, that is a very good shortcut um, that Canva came out with recently. I know they haven't always had that, but it's very good if you didn't know about that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to type in bold, or you could type in thick or heavy, and it's going to come up with a bunch of like bold fonts. Um, if you don't have Canva Pro, then you're not going to have access to these fonts that have the crowns beside them. Um, and that's another thing. If you do want to try out Canva Pro for free for 30 days, make sure you use the link in my, um, not bio, in my description box. Uh, for this design, we're not going to use Canva Pro. Um, well, I don't know, we might, but you really don't need Canva Pro just to make a quick little worksheet. Um, so let's see. Okay, I think the Montserrat looks good. And we're gonna change this letter to the letter A. So we're gonna do, move this big A around. And then we're going to duplicate this and do the lowercase A. So to duplicate it, you need to highlight this A and you can hit Command or Control D. Or you can hit the Duplicate button, um, which is somewhere up here. Sorry, all my cat is like, trying to bite my laptop and I do not have time for that today. All right, so we're changing this big A to this lowercase a. And I'm actually gonna make this a little smaller. So I'm going to left click out here and drag the cursor across these two boxes and I'm going to resize them. And I'm gonna scoot them over just a little bit. Um, let me see if there's a different font that would do better. I know Railway is a popular one, but that one might be bad too. Um, let's see here. Um, let's try Glacial Indifference. That's usually, okay, that's a good one. So we're actually going to change this to Glacial Indifference. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want the A to be funky because like no one writes like that. So make sure you choose a font that has this like normal A if you're gonna do the handwriting stuff. Um, so I'm gonna scoot them over a little bit. And like I said, I'm gonna have to resize it a little bit. Um, but I actually think that looks good. Let me scoot this little A over. I'll scoot it over just a little again. Okay. So that looks very good for right now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some lines and then we're gonna put these letters in here. So I'm gonna go back over here to the design and Canva has also come out with a really cool line feature. So instead of having to go over here to elements and search for a line, all you need to do for a line is hit L on your keyboard. Ta-da, a line. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, um, but when I figured that out recently, my mind was just blown. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag this line out until you see this like, um, like pink or purple square or rectangle come out. You can make it a little longer, but I just, I like for everything to be aligned. I'm like really picky about it. So we're going to make everything aligned today. So I'm going to move this up and I'm actually going to move it up a little further. All right. That looks good. So I'm going to make this and then I'm going to duplicate it by pressing command D on my keyboard or you can just hit duplicate. I'm going to drag it out a little bit and then I'm going to do it a few more times. Okay. So now that I've got a few lines on here, you can see that these are clearly not aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these lines. So I am going to click this first one. I'm going to hold the shift key and then click each of these. And we're going to go up here to position 
and tidy up. And once you do that, look, they're all spaced out evenly. So let's see. Let's actually do a few more. I'm going to put a few more lines out here. And then we're going to do the same thing. So, so I'm going to actually, instead of just pressing like the shift key, like I just showed you guys, I'm going to left click right here and then drag across these lines. And I'm going to hold the shift key down. And since this uppercase A right here is highlighted, it's going to move the A. Um, so I'm going to hold the shift key down with it selected and click on it. And now it's unselected. So we're going to do the same thing. Position, tidy up. And that is going to be, um, that's going to be our lines for everything. So now what we need to do is we need to create these little dotted lines right here. So to do the dotted line, it's going to be the same thing. So you're just going to hit L, but instead of it being a normal line, you're going to go up here to these three little line styles, and we're going to change it to this dotted one right here, and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to make it that length, and then we're going to highlight all three of these lines and we're going to position tidy up and boom your lines are done so we're going to do this again and we're going to oh, let me highlight all three of these and tidy them up and then we're going to do it again and then we're going to do it one last time so one last time we're going to tidy these up and once they are tidied up, then we're going to add some more font right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight this big A and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to make it smaller so that it fits in, it fits within these lines. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So that looks really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate it again a few times, but I'm going to change the transparency because obviously if you write on this, like you're not going to be able to see where you're writing. So I'm going to change the transparency to, um, I'll change it to 25%. I think that's pretty good. And I'm just going to duplicate this a few times and we're going to do the same little like tidy up function. Okay. So I'm going to highlight this first one, hold the shift key down and I'm going to highlight the rest of these and I'm going to space them out horizontally. If you hit tidy up, then it might do something funky. Okay, actually it didn't. But um, if you're just trying to align everything horizontally, then you can just hit the horizontal button and that usually does the trick. So um, we'll keep it like that. Actually, that's not, it's not done correctly because this first one is a little lower than these, but for this video, it works. So now we're just going to copy we're going to highlight all these duplicate it and we're going to move it down one more time i guess i could have done this easier with just like creating this one and then this creating this one and then duplicating it for here but whatever um it is what it is so we're going to do the same thing with this lowercase a i'm going to duplicate it and make it smaller so that it fits these lines all right Make it a little smaller. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to change the transparency to 25, just like the rest of them. And I'm going to duplicate it and duplicate it and duplicate it. And uh, we're not going to do that. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to make these a lot smaller. And like I said, you're gonna have to play around with this. This one's a little, this one's a little trickier, but it'll be okay. Let's go back over here and see what the lowercase looks like. Let's see if, if this shows like the lowercase a. Okay, so the lowercase a is like hitting this dotted line. So we gotta change that around. Um, so I think that's pretty good. We're gonna duplicate it and change the transparency to 25. And we're gonna do it again. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six big A's. So there need to be six small A's. So there's that. And we're going to highlight them and tidy them up. So position horizontally and we're going to duplicate it since it's already highlighted and we're going to move it down to right here and there we go here is the letter a worksheet and i know that took me a little longer than what it normally would because i've never made anything like this before but hopefully you get the gist of it and i mean you can use any letter or any font you want um or any of this clip art too. So if you have any questions about what I did today, make sure you leave them in the comment section below, but I hope you guys got a lot out of it. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.